Alright, hello everybody. Uh, welcome back. We are on Lesson 13, Level 5. We're going to be looking at the Align Self property. So, the Align Self property aligns an item in a flex container. It is important to remember that this property overrides the container's Align Items value. So, this is if you want to move just one item. Um, the second item in the image below has an Align Self value of flex end. So, we need to make this picture here look like this picture easy let's go do this in the HTML file so that's this one right here uh, give the second child item inside the flex align parent a class attribute of align so we're gonna go to number two right here and we're gonna say class align all right um, in the CSS file add a rule in the CSS file for the second child item using its class attribute as a selector so here we go uh, give the item the align self property here we go. So this is where we want to go. Um, all right. So align, and we want to say align self. All right. So we've got a bunch of different options: flex, end, flex, start, center, stretch, baseline. Um, let's go through each of them and just see what they do. So baseline, you will only see a visual difference with this value if the items have different heights. So that one is not going to do us any good today. That's okay. Uh, let's look at flex end. All right. Mm, still in the same spot. Okay. Um, flex start. Oh, you know what? I think I need to refresh and save. Hmm. Mm, okay, something's going on. <gasps> oh, okay. I know what I did. Click. There we go. All right. So I forgot something. It happens, uh, which is why when we see something and we need to go figure out what we did wrong, uh, this is called debugging, going and finding the bug. So there we go. I was missing an equal sign. And so now it does what I expected it to do. Flex end puts it at the end. All right, cool. So flex start keeps it at the beginning. Uh, let's try center. Puts it in the middle. And then what's the other options? Oh, stretch. Ooh, this is going to be fun. So stretch, stretch. Pushes it all the way from top to bottom. All right, however, it asked us to make it look like the top picture, which would be flex end. There we go. So we have done what it asked us to do. We got a little bit of debugging in there. Um, you know, and mistakes happen. That's part of coding. Uh, we joke a lot about how to write the code takes 30 minutes and to debug the code takes three hours minimum. <laughs> All right, so uh, level five is done. We have successfully done what we were asked and we're ready to press the orange finish button and I will see you on level six. Here we go.